guys, what's up, it's Tiffany, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome back to the Barbie Legacy Challenge. Today, we are back with the Barbie Legacy, but we are officially on the second generation. We are on the business Barbie generation, and if you guys don't know what we need to do for the business Barbie, let me tell you. All right, generation two, the business Barbie. Your mother was happy staying at home, but not you. You're ready to fight your way to the top and make enough money to support your family for generations to come. We must complete the fabulously wealthy aspiration, max charisma and logic skills, max the business career and the invent investor branch, and we must have the ambitious trait. That is what we are going to be doing today. If you guys missed the first generation with our good dear uh, Barbie Roberts here, who, our good dear Barbie Roberts here who has just gotten out of bed, the link will be down below so you guys can go ahead and check that out. You do not want to miss the first generation. If you guys also recall, we are technically still not 100% done with the first generation. She has to have a child or a grandchild reach the top of a career. So obviously our next gen, our business Barbie Clara here is the one that's going to be doing that. She's going to reach the top of the business career, obviously, and complete the first gen alongside, um, alongside completing her own generation. Oh my God, look at this. The two gens right by each other. But anyway, today is a big day. We are going to be having Clara's birthday party today. She's going to be aging up into a teenager and we're going to be going to high school with her. I think it's going to be so exciting. I'm so, so, so excited. I also went CC shopping a little bit and got a good amount, I think, of clothes and stuff for the business gen. So I'm really excited to be doing that. It's only 8 a.m. So we're going to wait a little bit before we have a birthday party. Clara's really going through it over here. I don't know what her issue is, but let's discipline. Let's calmly um, ask her not to have emotional meltdowns. Someone like the business Barbie. Yeah, you need to you need to control yourself, okay? Anyway, um, I don't, we don't really have anything to do. We could do a little food sale, but I don't know how much food we have. Let's just make a bunch of waffles, I guess. All right, come on, Barbie, let's go start a food sale. You guys want to buy up my food? Come on, buy it up. You should buy. Oh my God, the season packets are two hundred. Stop! Hack! 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 All right, we only sold. We only have three sixty, but it's okay. We only sold 360. <laughs> That's fine. We did our best. We did our best. Okay, let's go ahead and plan Clara's birthday party. I'm so excited to start the next gen. You guys have no idea. I know you guys are excited too. Technically, Clara and Cameron's birthday party, obviously. But... Birthday party! Birthday sim is going to be Clara and Cameron. Uh, guests, we're of course gonna invite Nancy, Allison, Elizabeth, Brittany, Bernard, Ace, Aiden. All right. Birthday sim, it needs a cake. Clara, get it together. Uh, Barbie, no, we don't need to grill any fruit. Pots are hungry, are hungry though, they are hungry, so hold on. Okay, so here's a little thing. It is in the gallery if you guys, if you guys just just search um, birthday lots, like most popular, um, this should be one of the top ones. So shout out to whoever made this. It was a lot of work that I didn't feel like doing. Unfortunately for us, um, we're gonna have to go and cook because not only the chef's not here and our toddlers are very very hungry but actually no let's just grill yeah let's just do what she was she literally was already gonna go grill so i don't know why we didn't just let her do that but let's go grill some yeah just make some ribs sure go play this arcade game with cameron maybe that would be fun todd you guys gotta come and uh play this until your mom makes you some food. She's making you food right now, don't worry. Hopefully people show up. Let's put on some kids music. Kids radio. Oh, look at one of their friends is already here. 
Why don't you come uh, play with her? All right. Perfect. Todd, you guys can come and eat. Made some food for the Todds. We gotta age up our friends, too. Oh my god. Jasmine is pregnant? She married Dustin Broke? What? Allison, are you pregnant yet? Like, are you in... Caden married yet? No. And you're homeless? No. Oh. Oh my god, congratulations! Very flirty. You just call me keep it from hooking up other sims. Who did we hook up with her up with? Hey Nancy girl! Was it she pregnant last time we saw her? I see you gotta ask. I'm in my third trimester. I'm okay with having a child. Pregnancy has good days and bad days, but overall it's a beautiful experience. We should talk to her a little bit so we can get to socialize with whatever sim. Um, is the caterer here making food? You made something. Let's go make a pink cake because I don't think anybody else is apparently. And a pink cake is a must. Don't we think? Never mind. Cameron, go make some friends. Go goof around and I don't know. Talk about school. Come talk about school. Talk about toys. She's cute. We'll give her. We'll age her up too, and we'll make her have like cute pink hair like this, and she'll be our BFF in high school. Okay, everybody should come up here. Uh, so we can start doing the birthday celebration. Come and celebrate. Come celebrate. Come celebrate. Cameron, you need to also come up here because it's your birthday too. Todd, you guys could just do whatever. Why don't you go ahead and nap? All right, let's do um, Cameron first. All right, Cameron's birthday. Happy birthday, Cameron! I'm so excited for you and Clara to become teens. Cameron has aged up. He's a glutton like we know, and he is a snob. Oh no. That's so unlike him. Let's let's roll one more time. That's a bad trait. I mean it's one more time. Loyal. Okay, 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 okay. Glutton is not like a great one, and then two bad ones on top of it. Um, so when Cameron was younger. Did he really even like to do anything specific? <laughs> Pick a number one through 15. So popularity, okay, I could see it. Pick a number one through six. I'm gonna skip the vampire one. Four, one, two, three, four. So he wants to be at the neighborhood confident. The Sim wants to provide all manner of advice to be a positive influence in the lives of their neighbors. Okay. Here is Cameron. We're obviously gonna fix him up in, oh, he looks crazy. It looks like he just had a rough night. Okay, anyway. Don't eat that cake. No! Who invited this little girl? Who invited this little girl? Forget it. Just blow out these candles. We'll pretend that it's the pink cake. I knew we should have had Clara go first. Happy birthday, Clara! Our next gen, the business Barbie gen. Let's see what they try and get her to look like. Oh. I'm scared what they're going to do to her, but let's see. Clara has aged up. Oh, she has brown hair. Please, what are they doing to her? So for the business generation, it doesn't say, um, it does say we have to have the ambitious trait. So we could do that um, if it lets us. So let's see. Can we do ambitious? Um, if not, then we could just do something else. For now, I guess. Um, and it looks like they don't. Okay, so we can't do ambitious yet. So I'm thinking maybe we already have genius, of course. Um, Self-assured could be good. We could do a perfectionist. Maybe a perfectionist. That sounds about right. Like she wants everything to be like the way, like a perfect. She wants everything to be perfect. She wants it to be her way. It all needs to fall in line. If it doesn't, she gets stressed out maybe. Yeah, let's do that. We'll do perfectionist. And then obviously um, ambitious will be the last one. So for this, she needs to get the fabulously. Oh, she needs to have the aspiration fabulously, fabulously wealthy aspiration. So this sim wants to get rich and have a successful career. Business savvy, business, sav business savvy sims earn more than a standard rate from careers. Um, she also earned a bonus trait. High self-esteem. Perfect. These sims regularly become confident even when they're failing to gain skills or succeed at work. They are also less likely to develop a fear of failure. 
That sounds perfect. That sounds like it fits Clara perfectly. So here's what they got. Um, oh, milestone complete. Have $20,000 in reserve. Okay. So we already have that. So obviously it gave us that. Um, it sounds like, it looks like they put a bunch of our CC together in a bad way. Oh, wow. I've never seen this before. Happy birthday. Someone left you a nice new dresser in your household inventory. Maybe it was a hint to start dressing your new age. Is that where those dressers keep coming from? I was wondering why I kept getting those. Um, I believe in me. Confidence game. Learning from mistakes. Birthday joy. All right, you guys. As you already know, this is not the look for our business, Barbie. So I'm going to immediately go into Cass and fix her and Cameron up and make them beautiful. Okay, first things first, I'm gonna get through and do Cameron really quick and I will see you guys when I'm done. All right, you guys, this is our gorgeous Cameron. I just give him a simple look. School uniforms have foregone because Barbie is our, sorry, Clara, AKA new Barbie is not gonna be wearing no school uniform. Um, I just gave him whatever, you get it, right? But this is what he looks like in all his glory. Okay, now it's time to fix this monstrosity. I'm not sure where they were going with this, but of course, let's take all this stuff off of her. Luckily, they kept her um, different colored eyes. Let's immediately go ahead and put some, oh, they, they kind of, oh, they already have red. Okay, let's put some C, C on her, make her look Board. She looks like she already has blush on, so that's good. We got that going. Um, I don't like these eyelashes, so they need to go. We're gonna be giving her different eyelashes. I don't know if there's a way. This looks like mm, that doesn't look like the same eyes. Eyes were they? Okay, maybe they are. Okay, maybe they must be the same eyes. Her lips are perfect. Okay, I'm I'm liking where this is going. I'm liking where this is going so far. Her eyebrows, um, I don't have a lot of eyebrows either. I'm thinking once she gets into like her career, she's gonna rock a ponytail. So I'm like thinking maybe while we're in high school, we keep it calm and cool and just like have our hair down, but be, you know, businessy. Ooh, I kind of like this, maybe this one. Makeup, okay, so we're gonna do a simple look. Uh, eyelashes is another thing that I haven't downloaded. She's really pretty though. I think so. Okay, now for her outfits. Now, the most exciting part. Let's see some of the CC that I don't did. If it shows up, hopefully. Oh, this is all the business looks that I downloaded. Obviously, I don't know. I think these are more for later on, but so cute, so gorge. Um, for school, I'm thinking like something casual. Like, oh, we could rock a school uniform. Pink school uniform. That actually is sweet. It's kind of cute. Ooh. Kind of giving. We could have this as one of our outfits. Ooh, or even this one. Oh, wait, it's kind of cute. It's a little, it's a little wonky, but it's still cute. Ooh, we could rock pink Converse for now. Again, she's just she just became a teenager, so she's not like in her Barbie Barbie era yet. Okay, and of course we have to make another outfit. Now let's make another outfit, like more casual outfit. This is giving school. Let's do one that's more like ooh, this one. <laughs> Wait, it's giving look. This is giving high, like this is high school. This is a high school look, okay, for sure. Um, we're going over the top of high school. And these are the leggings. These leggings technically go with this outfit, so we're gonna do it. We're going all out. Barbie is extra. So if you're thinking, is this a look too extra? The answer is, of course it is. Oh, I like this one. It's like simple and sophisticated. I feel like she would wear this. Ooh, or this one. Ooh, wait, this one's giving body. I don't wanna like dress her too sophisticated. Like obviously like something like this when she's older, but she's only a little, a teen, little teen in high school right now. So I don't think she like is overdressing like that. I think we need to put this one of these outfits on her. 
Alrighty guys, I'm officially done with Barbie here, or Clara, should I say. Um, I think I'm actually gonna change this outfit. I'm gonna change this outfit because I found one that I think is cuter for like the school uniform kind of thing. I didn't cam I didn't give Cameron a school uniform, but it's fine. These ones. Ah! Stop, look how cute this outfit is. Ain't no way. It is so cute. So this is our first outfit. Clara is looking gorgeous. She has her two different color eyes. I still need to download some more uh, CC for the face and stuff, makeup and whatnot. I tried to do business Barbie, but not too businessy because she still is a pretty much a preteen. She's still a teenager. So I'm kind of trying to give it sophisticated, but not too sophisticated. Uh, this is her second outfit. So cute. It's like business, but like still like I'm a teenager, you know? Um, her formal wear is definitely a little more on the sophisticated side because normally you go to prom like when you're getting out of high school So there's that her athletic outfit is just this simple pink sleepwear is just whatever party wear cute casual Bathing suit so cute uh, Hot weather is a little more on the scandalous side some things you would never wear um, If she wasn't a teenager, but she's a teenager and then cold wear is just the uh, the OG OG outfit everybody uses. So let me know down below what you guys think of our second gen. Uh, I'm obsessed. I love it. We need to keep an eye out for our new Ken as well. Because we do need to have a ne the next gen. So we do need to... Or... Barbie could just stay... Clara could just stay single. And have a science baby. Oh my god, Bob's texting us. Curfew is about to start. If you don't go home soon, then you will get in trouble. Oh my god, you're so right, Bob. We should go home. Anyway, Barbie or Clara, I'm gonna call her Barbie on accident, but you guys get what I mean. Clara could technically stay single, not get married, and have a science baby. And make that our next gen. Because I'm pretty sure almost every other gen will end up having a partner. Let me know what you guys think about that. It is a Saturday, so we do not have school. Our room is a little kiddish. Um, but again, we just became a preteen, so I think it's fine. Everybody should head to bed, though. It is Ken Jr.'s birthday, so we need to do a little cake for him. We're not going to throw, like, a big party or anything, but... <laughs> Look at them, the twins. They're getting along. So what are we gonna have to do to have earn? It's literally just all earn money. I do know too though That for the business career we are gonna have to work on our um, Charisma skill. Oh text message. I texted someone but they didn't text me back. It's been like an hour. Should I text them again? I feel like no she wouldn't Um, Why don't you go practice speech because we are gonna have to get a work uh we're gonna have to work on our charisma so we go out with our friends and then we can give them a makeover sounds like a good idea right okay so here we are at the boba tea shop so we're gonna give our friends here a little makeover starting with elizabeth bell i think she was the one with the pink hair i honestly have no idea i can't remember but let's modify her household and cast all right good Elizabeth Bell, looking cute. Okay, we gave um, oh, our friends left. That's kind of awkward. Um, let's invite them back. Here she is. Here's one of our friends, Elizabeth. Hey, girl. Um, here comes our other friend, Brittany. Really pop with the pink hair. I forgot to put um, makeup on her, but this girl looks so angry. Oh, she's I'm going to practice debate on her own. All right, anyway, let's go home. I think our friends left and nothing's happening, so let's go. All right, let's help Ken Jr. blow out the candles. Uh, please turn this off. Ethan's like, um, okay. Happy birthday, Ken Jr. Ken Jr. was an angelic toddler. Now as a child, he is lazy. Love that for him. Um, so maybe just creativity. Cute. Congratulations on aging up, Ken Jr. The problem with this uh, aspiration, not a problem, but like every time anybody here sells anything, it works for us. So, kind of cheating, but apply facial cleanser. And then she wants to have fun. What do we think that uh, Clara does for fun? Play chess? 
Why don't you get out of the bath? Why don't you play chess with um, your dad? He likes to play chess. All right, everybody should probably head to bed now. Ooh, new family dynamic supporter. Some older Sims have a knack for pro providing reassurance and emotional, emotional support for their younger family members. The older Sim can serve as a good role model. Uh, sharing many of their life experience to help guide the younger Sim through life. Recently, it seems like Ken and Clara have this type of relationship. When family members have a supportive family dynamic, both Sims actively provide affection and compliment to each other. The older Sim will actively seek to console or cheer up the younger Sim. The younger Sim feels comfortable venting complaints or asking for help a bit more. I think this makes sense um, if we're following along the story of uh, Clara wanted to be, get into the business side of business career because of her dad Ken so I feel like it says saying it's the older sim can serve as a good role model and sharing life experiences I feel like they bonded through that and which is why she decided that that's the kind of job that she also wanted to do to also maybe support like a family or kids of her own one day anyway everybody get up it's the first day of school for the kids how exciting is that I have some waffles made for everybody so as soon as you are done rebate day no idea what that is Let's start the day. We're going to try to stay mostly on Clara today. Get up, brush your teeth. All right, we're going to pick which student to follow. We're going to follow. Which do you choose to follow? Just Clara, right? Let's just follow Clara. Um, Miss Girl, what I did want to do that I forgot to do before this was change up the, the lot. So I'm going to do that off of camera after this episode. Change this lot so it's a nicer school. But let's go ahead and get inside. It is freezing wherever we are. We need to learn about new school from the principal. So, hello, I'm Clara Roberts. I'm going to be the top student of this school. Time to go to class. First class of the day. We have to join an after school activity as well. That was fast. Oh, it's a fire drill. We can meet our professors. Hello, nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you. Let's go claim our locker, if we will. Let's decorate it. Let's add, excuse me. Yeah. Let's add Ruppy. Oh yeah. So cute. I think we could do this on our phone though, actually. We could join an after school activity on our phone. Um, okay. So I'm thinking right off the bat, chess team. Super smart, you know? All right. Yeah, I need to get like a cute high school off the gallery. All right, we're in science class. We're paying attention. Section day. It's not the easiest lesson to learn for some sims, but there are important ana anatomical lessons to be learned by dis dis dissecting a frog. There are also plenty of jokes that can be made by the frog's expense, of course. The little tap of some flailing arms, Clara can make the frog dance. Uh, I feel like Clara is not the type. I feel like Cameron would do this, but Clara would leave the immaturity out of the classroom. Clara lets a moment impulse pass and wonders how she might have thought that would have been a good idea. Then she focuses on the lesson. Good job, Clara. Uh, I'm not seeing any of our friends, which is a little weird. So I know that they do test on Friday exams, I mean. So we need to make sure that we are prepared for that. I think Clara's the type to do a little workout. She's probably like the type like, oh, healthy body, healthy mind, right? So maybe we do a little after school workout. We're not in a rush to get home. See, yeah, so uh, milestone complete. We finished the first part of it because Ken got promoted to manager, came home with money, and it counts towards our things. Honestly, I think that they should probably change that, but it's fine. Promoted to hedge fund manager. Ken has been promoted to hedge fund manager. He will now make an additional $33 per hour. Wow, $145 an hour. He's making that bank. Him and, uh, Bar uh, him and Clara will be working together. So now we have to do, we have to just earn $75,000. Um, again, this is why I'm saying we're not going to stay a teenager for long because as soon as we become an adult, we're going to go to college. We're going to go dorm there. Hey, girly. Um, all right, let's go take a quick shower and then we can probably go home. Um, so I personally think the first thing that Miss Girl would do is come sit down, do her homework, and then she'll worry about going to bed. So for her chess team recruit, she needs to play chess. We're going to get some sleep first. Uh, I'm not sure what I want to be when I grow up. All of my friends seem to have figured it out. How do I figure it out myself? Pick something you like. No worries. You've got time. Study for a high paying job. Um, so I'm assuming he's asking Ken. I think Ken was home. Pick something you like. Like, don't worry about it. Just do whatever you like to do. Level up in the logic skill. We're already level five logic. That's really good. 
Alrighty guys, that's where I'm going to be ending today's episode. It was a good intro day. I feel like we had Clara's birthday party. She aged up from a child into a teen. We got to do her cute little makeover and we went to our first day of school. Like I said, I'm going to look in the gallery for a better high school, like maybe more of a, a more like Barbie style high school. We're gonna see what they got and replace that. We joined the chess club because we're obviously super smart. We're already logic level five. So I'm honestly thinking we're going to get through this stuff really, really, really fast. Um, also, with her being a teen, I'm planning on only leaving her as a teen until I want her to go to prom. And then I do want her to graduate. But I think if she's a good student, she's able to graduate early. So that's kind of like the plan. I want to get up to the young adults and then head to college and finally move out of this household so we won't have to worry about all these sims to take care of. So let me know down below what you guys, what you guys think of the new gen. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye Barbie.